Hi there, my name is Kai Vierda and I'm a product manager for CA Release Automation. In this tutorial I will show you how to create a CA Release Automation Action Pack using the Rapid Development Kit or RDK. I will be using PagerDuty as an example integration target and will extend CA Release Automation's notification capabilities by creating a workflow activity or action that wraps a PagerDuty API call. Do note that the RDK works with any command line, script or web services based API and that PagerDuty is merely used as an example. In this first part we will look at the PagerDuty API, configuration of the RESTful action type and defining input parameters. First let's have a look at PagerDuty and its API. I'm logged in to PagerDuty and have completed the most basic configuration. I've added a service of the type generic API and have the associated API key that we will need later on. To verify that this is working I can manually create a new incident by using this trigger incident option and provide the description and some details. If I open a new incident and go back to the dashboard I should have a new incident here. Let's select this and resolve this quickly. Now let's have a look at the online PagerDuty API documentation. To create new incidents we need to use the integration API and send the PagerDuty a trigger event. In this first example here it tells me to do a post request to the following URL and I need to send this block of JSON to raise a new incident. Also the service key that is used in the example I will need to replace this with the service key associated to my PagerDuty account. Now let's switch to the RDK to create a new action pack. First I'll add a new action pack and provide some basic information for this project. The name primary category. This is the category that is used when browsing for actions in the release automation designer. We'll use PagerDuty as well. The author and version and lastly description. There we go and hit save. Next I add an action and choose the RESTful type and I will now step you through the various tabs. First we provide details, input parameters, the actual execution payload, outputs and lastly results for error conditions. Let's first provide a name. Create incident and the description. Next, let's look at the input parameters. If we look at the API call example, we need to provide a service key. Right? This is mandatory because without the service key, I cannot make the API call. An optional incident key. If I don't provide one, uh, one will be generated by PagerDuty automatically. The event type. This is always going to be triggered, so I don't need to provide this as an input parameter. A description, client, client URL, and then details, which is another block of JSON. Okay, now let's set these up in the RDK. So, first off, the service key. This is a required field, it's always useful to provide a description. Next, the incident key. And lastly, details. And because this is expecting 
a JSON as input. I will provide this as a default value. Thanks for watching. In part two, we'll look at the execution payload and defining output parameters.